Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Dr. Stone season 2 episode number 1. Okay, uh, Dr. Stone, uh, I've seen the first season and it was before I did reaction so obviously I didn't like, it was, like I did not react to it. But I watched it and <coughs> like Dr. Stone reminds me of like uh, it's kind of like a like fun type of a show where we get to like see and like experience all of those sciencey stuffs that like uh, especially like stuff which are in our everyday life for example like how Senku like uses uh, like different things which are like raw materials that are like lying around in the world to like make stuff like it's like uh, you know uh, like those video games where you like build stuff from scratch uh, like um, it's more like that and it is really interesting to see like uh, like a lot of things that we have been like seeing like lying around but we didn't even know that oh this was used to do this or this is composed of this stuff like that so it's a really interesting way and to like uh, like as an anime to teach us about a lot of things for example making cola in season one uh, the famous like a lot of like youtube videos also came out like where people made cola on their own so yeah it's like a fun uh, type of a show with an with a good plot so with a lot of like knowledgeable things as well interesting plot uh, I, I was extremely like impressed by the whole uh, setting of like uh, <coughs> Senku's dad and like his like co-workers being out of the like um, like outside the world when this like stone thing happened like petrification happened and it was really interesting to like that was a really cool thing that they did where like they came uh, to earth and they like kind of were like the like adam and eve like not adam and eve they were like a lot of them like one two three four five six six of them so like uh, they kind of like started like uh, they are like the origin of the new like life that were brought on earth uh, so like yeah th that was a really interesting way and uh, that was a really interesting part of the plot and Senku after like uh, like getting out from the petrification is now working towards like uh, saving all of them so yeah like uh, my overall impression of Dr. Stone season 1 was uh, extremely fair like uh, like I loved it immensely and it really like uh, interested me in a lot of things like uh, especially like uh, sciencey stuff and <clears throat> let's see what else this like um like season brings i'm guessing like we're going to like uh, they already like uh, built the telephone uh so i'm guessing they are going to do more modern stuff in this season so let's see how like senku does that because as like like he increase like he like advances in age uh, i'm talking about the technological age uh, things will be a lot more difficult to make so <clears throat> let's see like for example now they're making telephone maybe sometimes later they're going to make something else which will be a lot more uh, complicated so I'm like really curious to see how they do those kind of things so yeah guys I uh, have talked enough like talked enough so anyways without further ado let's get started with Dr. Stone uh, season 2 episode number 1 all right I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here link it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay. <coughs> oh, okay. They're like giving the little background um, information. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> but yes. Who counted? Like from one, two, three, four, just so that he can like keep track of the like season when he comes out. Imagine. <laughs> yep, exactly.
<laughs> and revived all of the others as well. Not all of the others, but a few of them. Oh, he's telling the story to the like villagers. Okay. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> yeah, work again. <laughs> what are they making? Oh, he yeah. is con continuing. <clears throat> yeah. Like, I always had this one question in my mind. How does Sukasa, like, uh, judge people? Like, he's saying that people of, like, good heart would be only be, like, revived. How does he, like, judge them even because they're, like, petrified? How the hell is he going to judge? In which basis? Like, like I guess, like, like his, uh, like, point of view is that old people are bad, like, are corrupted. But there are a lot of people in his like army, like uh, those guys, uh, who were like of the older side. So why did he like revive them? Like, I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. What next? Super Science Project item. Hmm. Base food? Wait, how is that going to help? <laughs> yeah! How is that going to help? Uh, oh, I'm guessing they like they'll probably have to like scout for a long time and stay in a place in a long time. So they're like going to eat that. Okay. Like in simple words, non-perishable food. Oh, Le leveling up. <laughs> yeah, they will have to like uh, stay in. <laughs> He's taking it way too literally. Yeah, it's so a quick food. Like they're going to fight. So, like while fighting and hiding, they're going to eat it, then again fight. Ah, okay. But also like, uh, like food gathering. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, the morale of the like, uh, yeah, the morale of the like people. Like that's a big thing. Okay. Hmm.
ओके ऑल राइट ऑल राइट ओके वेल इट वॉन्ट पे लाइक गेट लाइक स्पॉइल्ड लाइक इट विल टेक अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई थिंक ओ गॉड डैम okay so this was ginro's plan to like sneak food <laughs> so that's why he was so excited <laughs> oh no go not ginro ginro uh, i will oh no not it's ginro isn't it yeah ginro you do la va ru le da yeah it's ginro uh, like the younger brother is ginro that is silver and the older brother is kinro that is gold okay <clears throat> yeah okay so okay what oh cup ramen Oh okay okay Hmm okay All right Oh and then drying it Okay it turns into vapor. Okay so the water is like taken out. Oh. Okay so 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 when you have to eat you just put water in it. Okay. Put hot water in it that's it. Oh. <laughs> Okay, what is this? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Space food acquired. Well, that was quick. Yeah, it. it... <laughs> uh. Well, you need to add water. Yeah, hot water. Basically, cup ramen. Hahaha. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> That's the same reaction I had when I ate like ramen for the first time Ramen is an amazing thing I really love it I really like want to like eat authentic Japan Japanese ramen Like that's one of my like you know goals in my life. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Wait, he he made this with his dad before. Okay. Wow, that's uh, good. He already made it with his dad. Exactly. Yeah, it gives a merit. Like you will be like f 
full with food and your morale will be high mm, yeah okay what happened to taiju and uh, yuzuriha like we've not seen him yeah kind of saw them before oh okay Oh, okay, <laughs> kind of look the same, but oh, the song, Lydian's song. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> uh. Mm, yeah. But the other people no. What? Audio quality. What? Oh, is he like uh, thinking about the audio quality of the telephone? Yeah, I think he is like worried about the telephone. What? Uh, okay. Wait, what? Oh, Chrome can hear. Can you find for the uh Skasa, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's also charismatic, yeah, that's what. Oh! 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 <laughs> okay. Good to know. <laughs> but can you sing like Lillian? Oh, okay, all right.
Ya. Yeah. Oh. But okay, I I'm getting what he's trying to say. He's saying that they will like fake Lillian being alive and like try to turn them like in her their team because Lillian is even more charismatic than Tsukasa, something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah, but. Uh, <laughs> well, you need a big backstory before that, so Chrome, settle down. Yeah. Okay. Like. Oh. Oh. Yeah, if <laughs> Hmm, okay, that's kind of Yeah, who, who cares? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Hmm. Mm, yeah, but mm, yeah, that's kind of correct. <laughs> okay. Oh, is this ending or the opening? Oh yeah, home right there. <laughs> so you cannot Need a disguise. Mm, I doubt that will work. Nope. You need a disguise, like something to like. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Sonic bomb. Okay, so is this going to work? I think so. Distraction time. 
Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah, this will definitely like lure home Ryan. I hope so. Hmm. <laughs> yep, it's accelerating. Oh, is this the opening? Okay. Stone Wars. Damn, this is. Okay. Whoa, what is that? Oh. Damn. <laughs> We're going to get like this like vehicle vehicle or like I don't know what that is Damn the song is amazing Oh, we're gonna get some backstory of Sukasa's people as well. Oh, Homura was a gymnast? Also, more backstory of like Senku's dad. Wow. Okay, that's the end. Okay, this season's going to be amazing. I can like feel it. Um. Uh, a lot of things we got to see in the end, uh, not ending, I'm guessing this is the opening, uh, in the opening and uh, like we're probably going to see, like get the other side of the story that is Sukasa's people's story. Uh, like as far as I could say, see like uh, one of them was like uh, doing some kind of communication job I think with like a headphone, another one was some kind of uh, an office worker or some kind of manager, I don't know. Uh, another like Humra was uh, a gymnast or an acrobat. Uh, uh, doing her stuff and we're also probably going to get to see um, Senku's dad's backstory like more of it like in the end we kind of saw like uh, uh, <coughs> Senku's dad and Lillian and uh, like uh, like sitting uh, like Senku's dad was sitting and Lillian was standing and that so that kind of like I think I we're going to get more of the backstories and I really want to like know like what happened like before as well like this in itself is okay but I also want to know like uh, was like some more information on Senku's dads and like what happened uh, when like they stayed in season one we kind of got um, I think one or two episodes I think one episode uh, solely dedicated to Senku's no two episodes solely dedicated to Senku's dad and his story but that is not enough I think I think we should also get more so I'm, I'm guessing we're probably also going to see more of Lillian and Senku's dad uh, in this season as well okay anyways uh so yeah this uh, uh this episode this was the start of season two uh episode one and um in the beginning uh they like started to make uh space food now obviously uh like this is one main thing uh like in a fight people always overlooks this uh, like people like whenever a fight or a war comes into mind people will always think like ah he like uh, who has better firepower who has better technological advantage who has better transportational advantage the terrain each and everything these are like the main um what can you say uh, like the main uh, things that comes into mind whenever you think about war or fighting so but one thing there is al always one thing that like, we kind of tend to overlook that is food like unless and until like which is one of the main things especially in a war like food is the main thing like uh, in a lot of like uh, historical things we have like read in our like history books there's always this like uh, we like, came across a lot of like uh, moments where like a person kind of like uh, like uh, destroyed the food like the, like the transportational routes where like food were being like taken like uh, disrupted their food supply 
and that is like a big way to uh, stop the enemy force so like food is a big thing unless and until you are like full like your tummy is full you won't be able to fight like i think there's also a japanese word where it's like uh, it's like said that un like what was that actually like uh, in an empty stomach you cannot fight a war or something like that uh, like harao hettemo sen sento something like that uh, i cannot re remember anyways uh, so yeah food is the main thing and uh, the thing that they're going to do here is uh, make some uh, like cup ramen stuff like that which you could probably like put in your like backpack a little backpack or whatever and like this is a big thing like they are like talking about like going and fighting without any bloodshed uh, they have to like i'm guessing they have to like uh, most of the time they have to like uh, like like stop in a place like in some kind of bush or something and like keep an eye out uh, for the perfect chance that time obviously like you are going to get hungry and like you are like almost alone or with a small group of people like you won't be like going in marching their front door that's not going to happen because they are going to do this uh stealthily and using like uh stealth not like uh, this is not full-on war so obviously they're going to need food for that occasion so that's what the cup ramen is for and um also good food uh I'm, I'm talking about good food like not like simple rationing like rationing are okay it's only like keeps you like uh filled like uh you, you don't get hungry but if you get like good food that will also like boost your morale and morale is another big thing in wars so like uh this is like this is what it is like uh like morale kind of plays a, another one of those big roles like if you have a good leader and uh who is able to boost your morale in uh like f like war uh there is like a big difference if the like if the other uh team that does not have a good leader like uh and your team has a good leader uh you're going to win and that is another thing big thing that is morale so these are like the th few things and senku like uh kept a note on that as well like on the food so they made space food which is like i think uh extremely simple to make i, I think maybe uh, like uh, the way like they did it i'm not sure if there are any more additional uh, like steps in that or is it like as easy as they like showed it in this episode like what they did was basically like make normal food uh, freeze it and then like um dry it i think yeah yeah then they like dried it and uh, like that was it i think that was what they did so I think like that that is quite easy to do like I'm guessing if they like did not skip any step I'm guessing like we can also make stuff like this I don't know I'm not sure if like if they made like skipped a few steps then obviously it's like it won't be uh, be that easy to make but if the way they showed in this episode if it is as easy as that then I think even we can make it uh, like uh, and their explanation for it was extremely simple that is like if you like uh, like the moisture content in the food uh the h2o or the water uh, molecules in a food uh that is uh, the thing that they need to extract so to extract that all like they did was like first freeze it which kind of froze the uh, moisture content and then like dried it or heated it which kind of like evapor evaporated the thing and like took the moisture content out and so the food is now left with no moisture content so this will like remain in uh like uh, like good for a long time and i think they're also probably going to like uh no no that is that was it like that was it that was the only thing that they did and obviously like in like cup ramens as we all already know it is something like that we usually pour hot water in it as they did and the moisture content gets retained and it's like sucks up the moisture content and it, it again becomes like a good like hot food and you can eat it so it's as simple as that so yeah that was a good thing that he like did not miss and that was um like a uh, good thinking on senku's part like food and <clears throat> then we get into the second part of this like uh, episode which was uh, how to like carry on this thing like without any bloodshed so the plan that they made was uh, so here is what they did like they are going to like transport this like phone telephone 
into their camp and Senku is going to like trick the other like army uh, like uh, Sukasa's army into thinking that uh, like a person from America that is Lillian uh, she is trying to contact them and as they are able to contact them uh, Lillian will also is also going to say that excuse me that uh, like in America it is all okay we're trying to find you people and so like like just come back like we're, we're like sending people so just uh, come to this place we are like doing some kind of an extraction so something like that they're going to trick them into like uh, and like take them in another place where like Sukasa will be almost alone uh, I'm guessing like the other few like uh, is like trusted people will all, like obviously be with Sukasa but the other like the other people that like normal army the other people who are not as like loyal to Sukasa they're probably going to like like take the bait and that is their like main target Senku's main target and obviously uh, like as like uh, Gen is a master uh, in like impersonator he can like uh, obviously this is a telephone and the, as like that was why he like kind of clicked at that voice quality like thing that uh, like suddenly like came into his mind and his plan is that yeah I will mimic Lillian's voice and because the like uh, sound quality will, will not be as good as a smartphone I will be able to trick them and I'm guessing that is a fair point and he might be able to pull that off obviously and so I'm like this is more like that like they will be able to bait the normal people that is the like grunts or the like normal foot soldiers in Sukasa's army but the most loyal people that is uh, Homura and who were the others uh, uh, I'm forgetting and there was another guy with H the name was with H starting with H uh, that guy who we saw in season one I cannot remember his name at all anyway sorry for that like he and the like the archer there was like an archer guy uh, with a cap kind of a cap or something uh, that guy and all the other guys we probably saw in the ending they are obviously not going to fall for that so they are probably like going to stay with Sukasa and it will be more like Senku and his few of the teammates versus Sukasa and his few teammates, most loyal teammates, and obviously like uh, Taiju and Yuzurihai are like as a spy there within uh, Sukasa's army. They're also like going to do some stuff from within, like infiltrate from within. So yeah, all of these stuff, and <clears throat> and in the end they kind of like did this like uh, distraction thing, which would probably like uh, lure Homura towards that that uh, like sound for. A little bit and they're going to like transport the telephones uh, within that time so yeah and uh, <clears throat> yeah that was a good start and um, we're probably going to see more of like Senku's invention uh, in this episode and uh, Senku's in like the inventions that Senku kind of did not inventions uh, yeah inventions I can call them inventions uh, that Senku did were uh, of space food and um, that sonic bomb these two are the like main thing that he did in this like uh, episode so first episode two inventions already so let's see what more he does and yeah that was this episode and like uh, I was also talking about this before uh, like I always had this thing like Tsukasa is pretty intelligent but I really do not get his like uh, like his thinking process of like why like I know that he is kind of like has a grudge towards uh, the adults that are like kind of like uh, like mistreated him not mistreated him like he kind of t told his own backstory that he had like a sister uh, who like liked these seashells and he was like um, like you know from season one that story he said uh, I kind of get what he's trying to say and I kind of also get why he is so like hateful towards the adults but obviously he is enough intelligent to like uh, realize that not all adults are bad as like just like not all like young people are good like it's the same thing uh, so like is his grudge really so much that it is making him like blind to this like this is like the only um, I don't know explanation for this otherwise 
why is Sukasa like only like like saving the younger generation and like not uh, letting like uh, like like extremely like discriminating against uh, the older generation like i get it like uh like the thing that sukasa said okay i kind of admit that yeah maybe most of the adults are kind of uh like i don't know um like has like uh this kind of uh like wears a mask and uh like yeah obviously like that is something that all of us knows because as we grow older we kind of become a little bit uh, I don't know what to say, but a little bit more uh, untrust, uh, like do not trust anything, and uh, like as we like get to see the world more. But that does not mean that like each and every one will be like that. And I really do not know why Sukasa is like 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 this is one question that I always had from also from season one. Like he is pretty intelligent, so why is he like making this mistake? Like is his rage so like consuming that he is? completely blind to this like i think he maybe he also knows the like fault in his like thing that the things that he's doing but i think his like grudge or against that one guy uh, is so deep that he is not even like uh, acknowledging that so i think it is something most probably something like that yeah anyways so yeah, uh, that was uh, the first uh, episode of this season, <coughs> and what else? Yeah, that was it. That was uh, this episode, and in the next episode, we're probably going to see more. Like we are just like like getting into like the main part. Uh, and uh, like no without wasting any time I, I i thought maybe we're like also going to like uh, it will take two or three more days for them to like start the whole thing like they're more, most probably going to do some more inventions before like setting out to like infiltrate sukasa's base but in this like episode we saw that yeah they like completed each and everything tied up all loose ends and kind of like started going in this episode only so i think it is like uh, a lot quicker than i like thought this is going to happen so we're probably going to get more of like uh, the whole infiltration thing and how they're going to like beat sukasa sukasa's uh, team in this season so yeah i'm quite excited for that so and i'm also excited for like what more new inventions senku thinks of so yeah uh the, like it's really interesting to like senku's thought process like he is like thinking like extreme like his thought process is extremely um like random like he like makes a telephone then suddenly says that i'm going to make some space food uh which is like jumping generations like he's like jumping from one generation to another then to another generation and to another generation that is really interesting like it's this random type of like uh thought process is really like it really like surprises me like in every like episode as to what will senku do next what to expect from him for the next time so yeah anyways guys so thank you guys for watching this was the first episode of uh, Do uh dr stone uh, season two episode number one um yeah so uh if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed please consider doing so and comment down below your opinion about this episode uh, about dr stone anything in general i'll be sure to check them out so yeah guys uh thank you guys for watching again and i'll see you guys in the next video uh, of dr stone season two so until then goodbye and have a nice day